Hello, my name is Dwight Smith and I'm an artist. Well, Dwight Smith is a painter. I'm an associate professor of visual arts at Fayetteville State University. I really wanted to come up with a kind of a survey, not a retrospective, but kind of a survey so that I could have a space where I can just look at what I've done over the last 50 years. This work is called Circles. And it's a pivotal work in my career because this is the beginning of making all the work in the form of abstract expressionism, non-representational art. Before this piece, I was doing still lives, birds, bees, flowers, trees, you know, cups and saucers and things like that. And this was also done at Wayne State University in undergrad. This is a, a pivotal moment in undergrad painting when I moved away from painting the still life and moved into abstract expressionism. And this piece also gave me the freedom to experiment, explore, move into using resist, move into doing different kinds of things with the work. And that's simply because at Wayne State University, where I got my undergrad, my, my BFA and my MA from Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan, it was a, an environment that uh, really promoted and supported artists who were doing uh, non-representational work. This is the start of that, starting into that 50 years of painting. I'm showing like decades. I decided, I've been painting much earlier than that, but I decided this was probably the pivotal moment and the professional moment where I started to move into my professional career in making art. And sometimes you just have to t take a step back and see the whole crux, the body of everything. To, to say, okay, let me think about where I'm going in my next step. And that's what I really am pleased that the Arts Council has given me this ability to really be able to assess. When I look back at the piece, pieces that I'm showing in the exhibition from 1977, 76, and then look at the work that I'm doing in 2021, there is a kind of thread that goes through the work that is quite nice. This piece happens, occurs in when I was going to get my math, when I was getting my master's degree at Wayne State University. At that point, I decided instead of doing just plain watercolor and the drawing, I decided to do oil painting, get into oil painting and acrylic mediums because I wanted to expand my visual practice into including other kinds of things. So this is an abstraction of an adinkra symbol, which is a Ghanaian cloth symbol that is used in Ghana. And I started to use many of those kinds of symbols uh, in my work to like kind of jumpstart the work, to say, okay, I'm gonna use this symbol and move forward and then move into abstracting it and doing some other things. In the 80s and the 90s, I really got into African-centered kind of philosophies and ideas. And I was working as a graphic designer, art director at an insurance company. And going to school, working full-time during the day and going to school full-time at night. So between 8 in the morning to 10 o'clock at night, every day I was in either working or in school. Starting out with oil painting, it's not always easy. I was really struggling at the beginning. But then all of a sudden, certain kinds of things in your brain click, and then it becomes, oh, now I get it. And then I start working with the oil painting. When I'm looking back and looking at everything together, I see that there is a constant thread through all of my work that has not changed, even though there, I, I'm showing in this exhibition watercolors, drawings, paintings, uh, mixed media collage, a lot of different kinds of investigations that I've been having with lots of found materials, mixed media materials, soil, dirt, cement, you know, all that stuff. 
the paintings that I show are all about my life. It, the paintings that I'm showing are all about the artists that I've met, things I've done in my life, uh, the career path, my relationships. Um, all of those things show up in my work. I'm the sum total of my environment. When I went to, back to school uh, to get my MFA in Boston, I was in, 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 the, in the program, which was a wonderful uh, low residency program, and I started looking at the work and going to the ICA uh, in Boston and looking at other stuff. And then I decided to even expand upon the abstraction of the work and start to even add different kinds of material surfaces and textures. I started using cardboard found materials that, you know, re kind of in a re repetitive nature. These new works that, I, that, I'm, that I've been doing for, for the last 15, 10 years include sand, soil, cement, um, spray paint. They're like archi architectural fragments, like somebody took, uh, went to a wall and just cut out a fragment of the wall and just ex extracted it. it represents like years, almost 35,000 years of making art. Back to the soil, the cement, on the wall, the cave walls. So it's canvas material. Then it's on top of that is the soil, sand, um, other kind of materials mixed in the gesso. That's the contemporariness of this and the use of different kinds of soil and materials to paint with. I'm painting with different various textures and colors and pigments of soil. I think that every artist needs to try out every single thing they can think about being creative. Don't limit yourself to one thing. Learn about all of it. And in that process of learning, you'll decide what it is that you really want to say in your work. That's what's important. Being able to clearly understand what my, your visual voice is, what your practice is going to be about, all the things that you like to do. Try them all. We live in probably the best time for an artist because there are so many different genres and so many different kinds of things um, painting practices that artists are doing, they're investigating so many different things. Positive, negative, art is beautiful, art is ugly, art is uh, about social justice, social injustice, uh, about wealth, and it's just a host of things. Do them. Put yourself out there and just do it.